Throughout our circumnavigation of the British Isles, the Darwin 200 crew encountered many wind turbines off the UK coastline. For sailors of old, their first glimpse of the British Isles were the glistening white cliffs of Dover. But in today's world, the Anthropocene era, the age of human change, it is the glistening steel of our wind turbines that greet the seafarers of today. Today we've had a very successful day installing our new wind turbine on the side of our ship with the help from Charlie from the University of Plymouth and Daniel, our chief engineer. So here we are with Charlie from the University of Plymouth. Why do we have the wind turbine installed on the Pelican? Well, if you remember, we sailed past a number of wind farms, offshore wind farms, and we also seen onshore wind farms in Scotland in particular. So I think it's just a good thing to prove a principle, a concept to the young people on board and demonstrate that we can generate power from wind and how that functions. It's connected with the wire to this box into which we have installed um, some safety equipment and a battery. We've got a voltmeter hooked up to it so we can see what happens when we switch it on. Charlie's just explained to me that the wind turbine powers this battery here and from this battery we can then connect multiple consumers in. For example we have the charge dump down here which can be used as a heater and in fact I think I can get just a slight bit of heat coming off it now which is really exciting. We can also install a cigarette lighter. So you can plug in a phone, charger, anything that uses the cigarette lighter connection and Charlie thought this would be quite funny if we install it. I hold it, you can have the fan. <laughs> Obviously we had a slight proof of concept with our wind turbine competition. Mm -hmm. Just wish I saw this before because it's way more efficient than what we produce. Yeah, but then it would have given game away, wouldn't it? Britain is truly a world leader in wind turbines, with over 2,200 of them located throughout the British Isles, producing approximately 8,000 megawatts, representing 8% of our energy production. Wind turbines are vital for our renewable future. Whether by day or by night, to see for ourselves these marvels of modern engineering from the unique perspective of a tall ship is a powerful testament to the development innovation and potential for our renewable energy sector. In Darwin's time, wind and sails were the engines of the world, but today we use wind in a different way to power our future. I think I think it's